Hey, it's Jill. This video is going to be a day in my life, I think. And first I have a mini, I guess, back to school haul. I go back to school next Monday and I got a few things. So the first thing I got are new white sneakers. My current sneakers are very worn, so I want to get new ones. And I had a gift card for Little Burgundy. These are the Club C85 Vintage Women's and I got them in the green color and I just think that they're so cute and really versatile and I also like that these ones aren't a pure white they're kind of a little bit of an off-white the color was called chalk if you're wondering and I get it in a size 7 and then the next thing that I got is two tops from Aritzia and I'll try them on as well okay so we have the Aritzia box here I got like two dark colors I think yeah I got a black and then a brown so the black top that I got is this one I'm gonna put it on okay here it is and I thought that this one was cute because it has the lace trim on the neck as well as the sleeves here okay and then here is the second one it is just a basic t-shirt and I changed the pants because the sweat shorts did not look good with this it probably didn't look good with the first one either but I really like this one and I just wanted to get a few basics to start for fall and the new school year and whatnot and I got both tops in a size medium by the way and the last top, it was called the, sorry, I'm just trying to find the tag here. It was called the Thrill Top. And then this one, I think it's the Weekend, oh, the Everyday T-shirt. And I have it in the Rich Mocha Brown. So I feel like this brown's like been trending for a while and I still think it looks pretty cute. But that is it for the mini haul. And Emily, my sister and I are going to be going to Ikea today as well as Pet Value. I feel like Cookie should get a life jacket so she's not as scared in the water, maybe. Birthday girl. Here he is. Oh, I'm poor Bingleton. I'm pretty sure this is the size of the needs. Pretty sure. Well, I hope so. I like the hide and seek ones. They're cute. Oh, the llama. She doesn't like the, like, these kinds. Like, I've got these for her. Or, like, the Nyla bone type thing. She doesn't like those. I know, I was kind of like, why don't you like the Nile bones? But yeah, she's picky, I guess. Yeah. We use these sometimes, and she likes them. She likes the little alligators. Those are big alligators, but she likes the small ones. But I wonder if she would like these Benna bones or something. They use Nile bones or puppies. I don't know, maybe not. Yeah. I got the plant bowls, and Emily just got the regular Swedish meatballs, and the peas, and I got the mixed veg. Oh, you didn't want this? No. Oh, it's pretty good actually. Um. We just finished our lunch and Emily's going to get us dessert. I'm going to get carrot cake and she's going to get, there's like the chocolate pie or something. Okay, let's see. Oh wait, sorry, that's carrot. For some reason I thought this was chocolate, but it's apple, right? Mm -hmm. Like apple pie? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we just got back from Ikea, um, Pet Value and Shoppers Drug Mart. So I only got a few things at Shoppers. I got this new shampoo from Maui Moisture. It was on sale, but hopefully I like it. I got eye drops and then just allergy pills. So at Ikea, I got a bath mat. It's just beige to match the shower curtain. And I got tea towels with these just <laughs> These designs are like checkered and striped. Just simple. Got bag clips for chips. Basting brush? Yeah. That was cool. Green size sheets and pillowcase covers. I don't think there's pillowcases with it. What? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Wait, but I swear they had a case that was just pillowcases too. Okay, hopefully that's yeah. what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Photo. And then at Pet Valley, I got my Frenchie a muzzle. Because he's a nasty. A little nasty. <laughs> and then at Ikea, what I got is, well, I wanted to organize some, cut, not cutlery, but kind of just like tongs and things like that, wooden spoons. And yeah, I got this and it doesn't fit my drawer. So... That's upsetting. Um, and then I got these for my Kallax. I'll just show you actually. For this unit here, um, I got these because the ones that we currently have, I think I'm gonna use them in um, my office. Oh, and you got sponges. Oh, and then I got these sponges. 
for a cottage that I'm going to soon. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh, and they didn't have napkins. The white napkins. Oh yeah, our mom wanted white napkins, and she went. Well, we've been twice now for these napkins, and they haven't had them both times. So. So no tall glasses. I don't know what Ikea is doing, but no big oh. napkins. Cookie. Say hi, Cookie Monster. Cookie. I went with my friend Nikki last week to this pottery painting place. It's like DIY, paint your own. Hi, Cookie. And this is mine, and it's super cute. I don't know if I'm gonna use it, actually, or if I'm just gonna use it for decor, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's cute. Hi, Cook. Hello. Okay, so in my puppy vlog of Cookie, I got someone asking me, could you do a video on the things you've learned from Miss Cookie and the things about grooming, sorry, and things to know about grooming, training behavior, etc." Cookie is now eight months, I think, and a few weeks old. Um, she has a lot of energy. I think she will still for a few months. It's pretty good with, we did, we don't like have her in the crate when we're home, but we'll have her in the crate when we go to work or go do errands or something. And she's pretty good about it. We did that just, actually kind of just by starting off with that. But how did you get her from crying a lot from it to now being okay in it? Like for sleeping? Yeah, sleeping or like when she was just really good. So we did have her wander in the um, we did have her wander in the room, but she was poo she pooed one time and we were like, okay, we should probably not do that. So then we put her in the crate and she just kind of did it. She didn't really have any issues. But I, I feel like we talked about remember like how you first like leave them in it for yeah we really didn't do that. We didn't do that. No, though. It just not really like clicked. I guess so, but like she still cries when we leave to go places sometimes when we put her in the crate So maybe we should do a little bit more of that in terms of training We did go to two trainers. We went to one trainer. That was more like a puppy socialization thing She didn't socialize with other puppies, but she just learned to like exist with other puppies in mm -hmm. that same class And then we also did a more formal training where she learned sit stay um, down and we're still working on place and I guess the biggest thing for that was learning how to walk and I think that was definitely kind of a big challenge because at first she would just drag us everywhere because when she didn't pull us like the entire walk it was just like so much easier to walk her and I think you changed the tool too right yeah so she uses now a thing that goes around her nose we originally had one just around her neck and was just using her her loop on her collar or we were using a harness the harness didn't really work for her, even the ones that were like the no pull ones. And then, yeah, the collar she just pulled too. So we found the nose thing the most helpful. Binky Hello. used a harness at the start and then now he uses a martingale. So we've seen a big change, changing of the tool, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, for grooming, she's gone three times, I think now. The first two times were just like puppy washes where she didn't get her hair cut. The last time that we went, she actually did get her hair cut. And I think it's just starting it off when they're younger so that they are kind of used to it and they don't freak out. Also, what I do sometimes is like give her massages so that she's used to getting fingers like between her toes or behind her ears or like even like in and around her ears and stuff. Just so that she's um, used to that so when they do that at grooming or even at the bat or whatever, she's not freaking out. Um, they did their nails all three times. Uh, I don't know about all three, but they definitely did the last time. I know. And then, what was the last question? Oh, just behavior. Um, she's just crazy right now, her behavior. <laughs> she runs around a lot, but sometimes I feel like she's starting now to sleep a little bit more during the day, and I can get a little bit more things done than mm -hmm. at the start, but um, she does growl sometimes, and she does a little bit of resource guarding. We're kind of working on that, or trying to work on that. Yeah, she's pretty happy, I think. Yeah, say. she's happy. She adapts well to new settings like if she comes to my parents then, mm -hmm. or to her parents and she can relax and i would say definitely if you're getting a new puppy because the person that asked the questions was getting a new puppy in october i would definitely say to practice going in the car literally mm -hmm. like immediately so that they're not scared of the car and she likes the car so yeah i think that's the thing that's true too um yeah. yeah she's just really hyper so yes i think Oh. Having to watch her all the time and know exactly what she's doing and where and mm -hmm. she's busy She likes to bite and jump up on 
whatever and get right into it. But she's very sweet. <laughs> she's a good cookie. Sounds good. That's our cookie cat update. Eight month update. So Cookie's going to be going to my parents for a little bit and she's actually going to be going tonight with Sam and Emily while they go back to my home area because we were going to meet my parents on Wednesday to drop her off but this ended up working out so they're just going to take her and we're going to take her for a walk first just so that she's a little bit tired. Alright, let's go. Come on little muffin. Let's go. Oh. She's got a leaf. We went to the gym and now we're gonna get some ice cream. We haven't been to this place, but it looks pretty cute. There's a lot of kids here and there's some baseball games going on, so it's really cute. There's so many. Okay, here's mine. It was called Cookie Monster. And I got it on a cookie cone too. I had little things on it, like chocolate. Candies. Okay, we're back from the ice cream and now we're having some dinners. It's the chicken taco dinner from Costco. So you have the tortillas here. There's a bunch. There's usually like 10 or 11, I think. And then you get a cilantro sauce. I can't remember exactly what it is. It's like a ranch sauce. And then a salsa, some cheese, some cabbage and then a bunch of chicken here that you just have to heat up in the microwave for a little bit and it's pretty good and i just squeezed the limes on top of the chicken here and then we're going to watch a little bit of love island and cookie's gone it felt weird to have a dog running around you know hey guys it's the next day so i did a little bit of reading this morning i've been reading people we meet on vacation by emily henry so far i think it's fine but i haven't been obsessed with it or anything I'm only on page 107 though, so there's definitely a lot more book to come as you can see here. Yesterday, I actually put these white storage baskets together that I got from Ikea. And then these were the ones that were in it and I'm going to be putting them in. Um, my parents have another one of these Kallax units at their house, so they're going to be giving it to me. And then that's where I'm going to be putting it, these green boxes. But so far, I really like these white boxes because they don't have the lids like these ones do. So I can just slide it out and get what I need instead of having to take the whole thing out and then put the lid off. And it's also nice because it is not like a cardboard material. As you can see here, Cookie, she on the green one, she took a little lick of it. She wanted to have a taste, I guess and it left a mark. So if she decides that she's interested in the white ones, then those ones won't leave a mark, which is nice. So that is going to be it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I start school next week, so it is Tuesday now, and I literally start school next week on Monday. No, I start on Tuesday, which is so crazy to me. I feel like I've been waiting for so long to be starting school, and now I'm going to be starting. And even though I'm a little bit stressed, I'm also really excited. Anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to give it a like as well as subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.